Hello, this is going to be a um, flip through of the Easy Peasy All-in-One Homeschool Level 2 offline curriculum. They have um, a completely free curriculum that you can use online. Um, it's allinonehomeschool.com. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, um, not sponsored, nothing like that. I bought these with my own money off of Amazon, and I just thought I would share um, what they look like on the inside so you can get an idea. Um, I'll start with the reader. So you get the, um, well, okay, all of these easy peasy um, curriculum include 180 days worth of work. So everything is laid out for you for 180 days. This reader in particular, Includes poetry, um, different stories, things from these 50 famous stories. I like those. Um, so it's a collection of things. And I'm not going to show you every single page, but okay, basically it starts off lesson one. It has a little bit of an instruction and then what the child is to read and then maybe some questions to ask. So it's all right here laid out for you, broken down day by day. Starts off with some other goose rhymes, poems, and things, and then goes along. Um, you'll get into some other stories. I believe it's lesson 21 when you finish up those poems, and then you begin this story called Lily's Walk. And um, there is an optional reader workbook. This has like vocabulary. Well, if I can get my hand to make the pages turn. It has vocabulary activities in it. So here you'll see this goes with lesson 21. It doesn't start at lesson one. Um, so it'll go along with the lesson 21 in the reader. And then you'll come over here and you'll have some little vo vocabulary activities. Okay. Okay, and then this, you know, next is lesson 39. Those were several lessons. And then, so this is a different story. Um, so you get the idea, but these are just different little vocabulary exercises that go um, along with the stories in the reader. So I thought that was really neat, um, just for some extra vocabulary practice, all put together for you so that you don't have to go looking for anything. But that's the way it is throughout the reader. You have your lesson, tells you what to do, and then it's gonna ask maybe some comprehension questions and so forth. Um, and then that's where that lesson ends and the next day begins. So my child, I'm having um, read aloud, this reader to me and then whatever they wanna read on their own for enjoyment, they can just go read themselves. But that's, um, I'm having them read them, that aloud to me right now. So next I'm gonna show you the language arts course. For this course to be completely offline, you do need to purchase the parent's guide. You really won't need this for every single lesson in the workbook, but there are some, um, like you'll see lessons one, two, three, and four are very short. Lesson five, there's a bit more parent instruction there, see so lesson six. And so it goes on like that, um, you know, so you won't necessarily need it for every single lesson, but you will for some of them. So you need to purchase this and it's only like $5, $5.99, something like that. It's very inexpensive. So you have your teacher's guide and then your language arts book. And these workbooks, I love that they're just one page a day. And it's got this cute completion chart that can color in the apples. So, um, they, you know, fill in the words from the word bank. The next day, um, you have your writing assignment. And a lot of these lessons in the language arts go along with the lessons in the um, reader. So, when you see copy work and things... Um, it's going to be from the stories that they're reading in the reader. But this is really, um, really neat to me. I like that it's just got everything broken up for you. 
Um, so like here, that is a little snippet from what's in your reader. So just a page a day. And you can see um, it just kind of all different kinds of activities so they don't get bored. They're not doing just the same thing every day. It mixes it up. So that's good. We were getting um, bored with just some copy work every day and um, we just needed some extra activities. Well, towards the end, I was gonna show you. They have a final research project. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. So it, they do it over several days. Um, the last 10 days, I believe. Or 11. Anyway, you research. You're gonna. Here we go. This is where it starts. Choose a topic for your final research project, and then um, it gives some examples. And then you're gonna write your title, some other information, and then each day they're gonna work on that. And it actually starts at lesson 166, and then all the way through lesson. 179 you're writing about your final research on your final research project and then you have a verb review for lesson 180 and it's got a little congratulations thing in the back there's a little bit of info there if you want to pause it and read that but that's the language arts and then the math same thing with the math. You have a, a teacher's guide or parent's guide and the workbook. And the same thing here. Um, you won't necessarily need it for each lesson, but there are some lessons where there's more parent information, more things that you can go over with your child to help teach the lesson before they do the worksheet. Um, and it also will give you like any um, supplies needed, like if they need a brown crayon to color in pennies or... Um, you know, things like that. So it just kind of goes on like that all the way. And the answers are in the back as well. So it um, goes along all the way through 180 lessons. Okay, and then you have your workbook here. And the same thing, um, you've got your little chart, completion chart, where you can color in as you do the lessons. And then it's just a page a day. Now, if you're using the online version, they have games that you can use. And so we are mostly doing this offline with the exception of I'm letting them do the online for the math games and things for practicing math facts, and stuff like that. So, um, but it just goes through a page a day. Of course, the lessons, like I said, are in the parent's guide. So you'll go over that, make sure there's nothing new that you need to discuss with your child. And then for the most part, they can do this pretty independently. Now, when you have pages like this, they will do a row. See, there's one, two, three, four, five. So they'll do one row a day and the corresponding day's worksheet. So they'll do this page and this row. The next day they'll do this page and the second row and so on. But, and it's got, you know, a blank page left for any cutting out that needs to be done. So it just goes on, it gets back here a little more advanced obviously so I am really liking the looks of this we did the level one um, and we really enjoyed it so I'm hoping that we're gonna continue to enjoy this and I just thought I would give a quick look through and hope that that helps you like I said you can do all of this completely free online but they do offer the offline workbooks in case you want a little less screen time or you're in an area where you don't have great internet which I don't have fabulous internet all the time so um anyway I hope this was helpful 
If it's been helpful, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe for more content like this. And hope to see you at the next video.